me, and it's hypocritical that he would be in Russia while criticizing the United States, is that he did not choose to be in Russia. He went to Moscow with the intention of flying onto Havana in safe passage, that he could then fly to the northern part of Latin America, um, where he would request asylum. And it was only because on the flight from Hong Kong to Moscow, when the U.S. government with no due process, unilaterally just revoked his passport, declared it invalid, um, and then bullied and threatened the Cubans out of rescinding their offer of safe passage, and he landed and realized he no longer had safe passage, did they force him to remain in Russia? And he stayed there for five weeks. I mean, as he always says, if I were a Russian spy, do you think I would have been given that welcome of being forced to remain in the airport for the Russian government thought about what they wanted to do with me, and he only then, once he realized that he would be physically incapable of leaving Russia, remember, during this time, the U.S. government showed how radical it would be. There was a plane that they thought that he was on that was actually the plane of Bolivian President Evo Morales, um, and despite no evidence that he was...